Hi you guys, Lindsay here. Well, welcome back to my channel, Inside to Him. I don't know about you, but this time of year, I always start craving the fall season. I long for pumpkin spice everything, fire pits, football, and all the layering options in my closet. So enter my new cover-up, Berta6336. If you've been watching my videos for a few months, then you'll remember this project was a part of my February plans. I wanted to make this to wear on a red-eye flight I had coming home after Sew Expo this year. Well, needless to say, I didn't finish it for Sew Expo, but I did finally find time to whip it up, albeit in the thick of summer and when I wouldn't be able to wear it for a few months. Oh well, such is a sewist life, right? The pattern is described as a cape-like jacket with a casual cut for a cozy and comfortable fit. It features sleeve bands and narrow sleeves that are set into super small armholes. It's very loose fitting. I even sized down one size and I feel like it's still a little overwhelming on my frame. Wearing it is a little funky. You basically have to keep your arms crooked a little to keep the armholes up on your arms. If you let your arms hang down, the armholes fall down and it kind of pulls on the rest of the garment. It's also hard to know exactly where the shoulders are on this garment. You could easily pull it up and around like over your body for a tighter fit, but then the shoulder seam is out of place. So I'm trying to wear it almost as if it were just a blanket wrapped around me rather than a proper cardigan. It's like a blanket cardigan cape, a blanket cardigan and cape combined. It's very straightforward and simple to sew, especially if you have a serger. It came together so quickly. The hardest part is that neckline band. It is smaller than the actual neckline, so you have to pay attention to how you're easing it in, stretching the band evenly to fit the neckline. And as you can tell, I pretty much duped the sample on the pattern cover because, well, it's just perfect. I love gray and pink together. The fabrics are French Terry's from Stylemaker Fabrics. They aren't technically the exact same fabric, but they are very close. The thing I needed to make sure of the most is that they were similar weights. Michelle, the owner of Stylemaker Fabrics, was able to verify this for me, and not just because I'm her friend, but because that's just how bomb the customer service is. You can email or direct message them on social media about a pattern you want to make and explain the fabric you're looking to find, and they will make sure it's going to be perfect for your project. The fabric is seriously so soft, making this blanket carded cape <laughs> beyond comfortable to wear. It's basically lounge leisure, which is the new term I'll be using for garments that are just as suitable for the sofa as they are for the street. The French, uh, the bamboo French terry that I used for the pink parts of the cardigan is still available. The gray part has sold out, but the bamboo French terry comes in a ton of colors that you could combine for a lot of really great versions of this cardigan. Sub out white for gray to make an equally chic version of the one I made. If you're going on the hunt for different fabric other than the one I used, be sure to look for something drapey and light to mid-weight. Anything that's Jersey French Terry would work, rayon French Terry would be great, so would some lightweight sweater knits. I would be remiss if I didn't mention the bracelet that I'm wearing. It's from Sashka Co, who partners with several organizations in Nepal that train and employ hundreds of women artisans in the rural communities of the Kathmandu Valley. The more than 350 women at the co-ops earn a living wage that exceeds the local minimum wage. Each bracelet supports my personal belief that these rural communities need a hand up, not a hand out. Use the code ITH30 for 30% off your entire purchase. I know I'll be getting a couple more of them to create a fun layered look. Here's a link in my description box that will take you right to their site. And if you've been keeping up with all the new pattern collections, then you know that Berta released their 2019 fall patterns a couple of weeks ago. I have my first impressions filmed and I'll be sharing them with you during my inaugural first impression Friday, which reminds me to tell you that this is the unofficial launch of my new Make It Monday series. Each Monday, I'll post a video of a pattern review of something that I've made. 
So if you're keeping track, the schedule is as follows. Make it Monday, first impression Friday, and for the entire month of September, so along Saturday. I'll be working toward a Tuesday toot where I'll post a tutorial of some kind each week. So lots of great things coming and hopefully this schedule will keep me accountable for it all. But back to my cardigan, I hope you like it as much as I do. Let me know what you think in the comments or by giving this video a thumbs up. But until then, that's going to do it for me today. Thank you all so much for watching. I will see you very soon. Bye.